Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo Y52 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now obviously you can see that the phone right here is locked using pattern, account and you can also see this little icon right here. So to get started with the bypass you'll want to back out to the Wi-Fi connection page so obviously you want to be also connected to Wi-Fi. So there we go. From here you want to select a see all Wi-Fi networks then scroll down to add new network. This will bring up a keyboard with a microphone right here. So I'm going to tap on that microphone and then when it brings out this window right here, make sure you tap on deny. Then you're going to do that again and again you're going to select deny. Then you're going to tap on it again and this time around it actually brings up a different window so right here. So you want to tap on it and then select allow. This will open up apps and the notifications with the Gboard in here. So from here you want to select permissions, then tap on the search icon right at the top and search for settings. So simple settings search. And from here you want to flick all the way down and settings should be a last option right here. Uh, make sure you open up always just the simple settings. Like it says only settings and app info. You can see you have settings storage and other ones. Just open the last one right here. And then you want to simply click on open. So once you have opened that up, you will now navigate down to apps and notifications, whatever that is. Let me just quickly find it. Oh, there we go. Apps and notifications right here. And you want to select app info, tap on the three dots and select show system. And start off by turning off Android setup. And there is two of them. We're going to uh, go through both of them. So Android setup, disable, disable app, first stop and first stop. Go back, Android setup. Now this one only has first stop. Okay, you go back and then scroll down to Google Play services. So there we go, Google Play Services, disable, disable app, and let's see, do we first stop it too? I'm gonna make sure. Yep, we do first stop it as well. Okay, <clears throat> so once we have disabled those uh, technically three applications, the two different uh, setups and Play Services, you want to now back out. So you're gonna go back to the setup screen. Okay, so right here, there we go. Uh, and as you can see, it looks a little bit weird because it tried to skip the Wi-Fi connection. When you press on, when your page basically before Wi-Fi connection and you press next, if you're already connected to network, it will go to the next page. So you want to back out. And for some reason, it didn't show me Wi-Fi even though I was on it so I needed to back out first and yeah anyway um, if you have any trouble getting to this page simply back out all the way and uh, then once you progress through it and you have that like infinite loading of checking uh, for updates you can just simply press back once and you should be here now from here uh, you're gonna now tap on set up offline and select continue and now you can simply finish up the setup. Just make sure. Still manually. And there we go. So I'll mention right now the device is still locked. The process is not finished just yet. So from the home screen, you want to go into your apps, then select settings. And let me mute this. There we go. Uh, settings. And from here, scroll all the way down to system reset options, erase all data factor reset and that once again and once again and this will begin a factory reset of the device. Now apart from it basically removing all the data from the device it also removes uh, basically accounts and any kind of security that was previously used on this device. So the pattern that was previously blocking us gone along with the Google account that was blocking us also gone. Uh, so once this is finished you should be then back in the setup screen at which point you can set up your device however you like and that's 
basically the end of the bypass. So I'm just gonna let this finish up uh, and you can see that it all went smoothly. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back in the setup. Now we'll basically skip through it fairly quickly just so you can see that it worked. Oops. I won't be doing any kind of like connecting to anything. I'll basically skip everything. There will be no need to bypass anything as well. Like I mentioned, the device is now fully unlocked. So number one, I can set it up offline normally now. And there we go. There is the full setup with the device unlocked. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.